your mind. What's the number one team? Is it Gonzaga? Is it Baylor? Is it somebody else? Well, overall, it's Gonzaga. Because not only are they a great team with an incredible culture, fantastic coach, terrific players, that's your hometown. So, <laughs> and I love the way Gonzaga plays ball. You know, Baylor, Baylor is good. And Baylor is on a near record-setting uh, performance right now in terms of their average margin of victory. But they play a slower game than Gonzaga does. And Gonzaga is just out there. They're moving the ball constantly and shooting threes. And what Mark Few has done is just absolutely spectacular and remarkable. And I love Gonzaga basketball. I love a lot of things about Washington and the great Northwest, particularly the fact that uh, Timothy Egan is from there and writes so many wonderful stories about that remarkable place. Uh, hey, hey, I agree with you there. All right, Bill. You know what, Neil? Yes, Bill. Wait, 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 Neil. Yeah. After hearing you and Linda do that recap of the Conference of Champions yeah. tonight here, I need to spend more time with you folks because you actually <laughs> sound like you're interested in what you're doing. And I want to thank you, Neil. I want to thank you, Linda. Because that, I don't know, Cole, Cole and Bill Payer, you know, Mr. Analytics, whoever I was just working with, whatever his name is, What's he, his he name? just sounds like he doesn't even want to be there. <laughs> What's his name? I can't figure it out. Hey, Bill. No, no, no. It's just gripping. Yeah. Hey, Bill, the games are fun, but we got to talk well, about what's to. going on in this country right now because it's upside down, and you were a socially right. conscious student athlete at UCLA, a socially conscious professional I still athlete. Am. Well, yeah, exactly. What role should sports be playing right now? A huge role because sports, they lead the way. Sports is what brings us together. Sports is what allow us to overcome the differences that we think we have because the opportunity to look at your neighbor, to look at your teammate, to look at your opponent and understand that he has a life too. Now, I do not support the Confederacy. I do not support fascism. I do not support racism. I do not support treason. I do not support traitors. I believe in the team concept. I believe in sacrifice and discipline and honor. And what we're trying to recover from, what's been happening for the last five years, it, it's just been just an absolute nightmare. And now we're trying to move forward and to see what the athletes are doing on every level, high school, college, professional, the leadership of the media networks. It's just been so inspiring. And I, I'm just all fired up here. I mean, it's, it, it can get overwhelmingly depressing, but the ability of the young people to come and stand together. What we saw tonight at Desert Financial Arena, the players in the pregame anthem ceremony and everything, it was it was truly uplifting. And I'm ready to go right now. Put me in, coach. I want to play. And please listen to John Fogarty's new song, Weeping in the Promised Land. John, once again, standing tall and out in front of the crowd. We need to throw our hatred down. That's Bill Walton calling the Arizona State. I'm with you, Neil, UCLA. and I'm with Linda, too. Yay, Bill. You, guys, you guys believe in the value and the power of sport to make it happen. And what we have at ESPN with Bob Iger, with Jimmy Pataro, with Burt Magnus, and all the executives who are saying, come on, we can do this. We can make a difference. And it, it's just been fantastic. I have never been prouder to be part of such a special team as what we have. And Linda and Neil actually enjoying what they're doing out there. Who would have ever thought, please save me. Oh.